Welcome to 8 Minute Crimes and Interrogations. We put out multiple videos each week consisting of interrogations just like this one, case breakdowns, and more. So if you are a fan of consistent true crime content, consider becoming a subscriber. The absolute best way to support this channel is to subscribe. If you enjoy the video, leave us a like, let us know we're moving in the right direction. Okay, enough rambling, let's get into it. Ray McCann has reached the final boss. This is the fourth and final recorded interrogation of Reserve Officer Raymond McCann in regards to the November 8, 2007 abduction and homicide of 11-year-old Jody Parak. Make sure you watch the first three interrogations leading up to this one. The links are in the description below. This interrogation took place on July 28, 2011 by Detective Brian Fuller and Lieutenant Sean Laufridge. Lieutenant Laufridge appears to be what the final boss of interrogations looks like. This guy tries to talk Ray in circles and get him to confess to something that he did not do. More info in the description below. I am I'm not going to be the guy to uh, be here to be your advocate anymore. They are going to take this case where it goes from here. And, um, so now they're on harassment now. <laughs> well, I, I don't know if you call it harassment or not. Wouldn't you want um, to? Wouldn't you want to get to the bot? I want to get to the bottom of this more than anybody. Right. And I believe you do too. Yeah. And and where where it goes from here is uh, is where you take it. Yeah. You know, as it relates to you. Hmm. And we. Uh, yeah, you know, I just yeah. We well, talked about the other day a little bit while while I was over visiting that uh, um, there's some things you're going to have to get by, you know, right. in your statement, and uh, I hope you I hope you can explain away some of these things. Mm. Okay. I don't I don't know. Yeah. Hey, bro. Oh, hey. There you go. Good. How are you? Right. Uh, John Lawrence Ray. John Lawrence. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The guy that uh, that I was talking about. Okay. He's gonna kind of be. He's been involved in, with us for a good while, and uh, probably the guy that I thought would be best to to be the one talking to okay. you. Okay. So, um, what I'm sure what he's gonna want to do is uh, kind of. I mean, he knows what I've told him and what the investigation shows us, but he's probably gonna want to hear it from you. Okay. So. Yeah. Well, like like uh, Brian's saying, I'd like to. You know. I've read and gone through this process, and I, you know, I know you're tired, you know. Um, I, I've seen all the stuff, and, you know, when this is what I do for a living for the state police, okay, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm in Lansing, that's where I work. Um, I'm in charge of uh, a unit there that is statewide, so um, when I sit down and I talk to somebody or when we do these things, I always want to hear it. From the person who I'm talking to because whenever things are relayed they're lost or they're misinterpreted so what I want you to do if you don't mind um, is to kind of start from the beginning go through this with me because um, you don't you not want to do this tonight do you uh, yeah oh, actually okay. right. to, to be honest with you I think it would be um, I mean I don't even know if you want to go through this anymore the way you have for the last four years. So yeah. why don't we just get through this, okay? And um, what would be best, and I know Brian's already told you, we, 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 have, we have the investigation has taken its course and, and uh, we are fully aware of what went on in terms of this. What, what we want to do is give you an opportunity to share. Uh, I want to get an opportunity to hear from you um, basically your involvement in this process okay I don't think you want to cut this short if I were you in this situation we're here basically to say listen right um, this is your opportunity we don't really want to have to come back and talk to you ever again uh, if, if what you say is the truth um, then we won't have to do that okay um, but again in this process, if you say I can't do it right now, um, that'd be a large mistake. Okay, I, I was just saying because I was right in the middle of unpacking, my son's out here. Yeah, I didn't know if he had a better night we could talk or. Yeah, well, to be honest with you, I came all the way from Lansing to talk to you. Okay. Because this will be it. Okay. You understand what I'm telling you? Okay. 
Does that make sense? Okay. So why don't you tell me from the beginning how this this all went for, for you that day? Um, I was a reserve officer at the time. Okay. Um, I was at home. Came over that night. So the kid was missing. Um, so she talked to me, my wife, my son. Um, from there, I called Officer Donker. Mm -hmm. Um, said I'd ask him if he wanted help looking. Um, I went and looked different places. Uh, I was on the phone with the, um, um, getting information from him because at the time my sister said, I guess he was the last one to see her leave her house. Um, what places I looked. Pardon me? Did you want places where I looked? Or? Yeah, I was okay. I was thinking you were going to tell me, you know, from the beginning of the day. Oh. You know, I know you gave a statement. You typed it out. Okay. Um, you know, gave a pretty okay. detailed statement as to that. Other day, it's home plan, PlayStation. You know, I, I, to be honest with you, I'd, I'd like to go back from, you know, the beginning. Wait. But I, you know, I, you can share right. any way you like. <laughs> yeah, why don't okay. you give me the detail? Okay. I mean, that's really what's important. Um, I guess woke up. Uh, I was home. What time was that? I don't remember exactly what time I woke up. About six o'clock. I don't remember. In the morning. So, um, I, I don't listen. I'm. I, <laughs> I know. I know. I, I, I look at my notes. I know what you said. Yeah. I was, okay. Probably, I don't know what's been written yeah. and what I've seen, but I'm telling you. With the kids at school, I'm sure it's early in the morning. So yeah, between six seven somewhere there, I'm sure. Uh, the kids going to school. Um, I'm up during the day. Uh, playing my PlayStation football mm -hmm. game, uh, dinking around the house. Uh, it's probably on the computer, um, doing odd things. Waited till the kids got home. Um, we went to the store, uh, grocery store at the end of town. Uh, I remember buying little laser guns. <laughs> Well, this is this is the fast version, man. This is quick. You, I, <laughs> this is quick because uh, when I read something, or you know, I'm just telling you, why don't you start from the beginning? Let me let me say this. I know that your wife was going to work. You had gotten up. Uh, apparently, you had you got you got a fire going in the morning. Yeah. You know, that's the kind of stuff we're talking oh, about. I here. can't remember anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Um, uh, I think what else did I do? Okay, fire going. Um, Around did you house. did you see me shut my phone off? I, yeah, I just shut it off. Can you do me a favor, man? Those keys are oh, rattling. I'm sorry. Yeah, if you don't mind. <laughs> I noticed that football uh, that 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 football my son uh, played at at Central Michigan. Oh, yeah. Sort of, uh, yeah, that's that's this is his ring here. I noticed uh, that that Notre Dame um, that is Notre Dame there. So yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So. Go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry. I, Mess around the house. I don't know what all exactly I did, though. You know what I mean? I mean That's a pretty significant day, um, considering you've been through, um, I don't know, maybe, what, seven interviews? At least. Yeah. At least. I know that I've read and, 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 and you know, uh, I'm, I've been intimately related. So, I, But on the other hand, I, I don't necessarily believe everything I read. Okay. Do you understand? So I'm trying to get you to clear that up for me. And if you just, hey, well, I got up and we usually do this and we usually do that, what happens is it makes it difficult for me to believe what's been written if I don't hear okay. what you're saying. I'm just trying to think what all I did that day. I mean, I obviously must got, I can't remember what's all my notes, but I apparently made a fire in the morning. Um, kids mm -hmm. go to school. What time did the kids go to school on that day? Um, I can't, I don't know what time to actually go to school. Seven, something I leave, I believe. I think they got to be in school at 7.30 or 20 till, or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Now, do you take them to school or do they, they walk? walk? Well, okay. So it's not too far away. No. Okay. So um, apparently, from what I read, that's uh, what she's going at. Yeah, just before that.
Yes. Do you normally drive them to school or do they always walk? They usually walk once it's a story range. Is that why you didn't go to work that day? I was off for... Yeah. Okay, that's what it said, and that's what I assumed, so I just want to confirm that. Right. All right, so you were off of work. Um, was it your, your responsibility to get the kids ready for work or school? Uh, while we, you know? They pretty much get themselves ready. Okay. Old enough to, old did you get them up for school, or did you do your wife? That morning, I don't know. You don't remember? I don't remember who, if one of us got them up, or okay. she got them up, I got them up, I don't remember. Okay. Let, let me ask you a question. Do you remember the day in, in question here? Do you remember what the date was? Um, not particularly the exact day. You don't? No. Well, in, in November. November what? Um, I'm thinking it was 7th, 8th, 9th, somewhere in there. Okay. Well, in two of your interviews, you specifically identified the date. The date. Okay. okay. Um, and, and the last polygraph you took, you specifically identified Okay. The date. So, um, you know, usually when somebody cognitively begins to recall and experience something, um, they they should pretty much be able to do that. Okay. So psychologically, you know, you're very intelligent. I've listened, so I know that if we just start talking about it, you'll start remembering. I mean, that's human behavior does that. So I don't see that to be a problem for you. That's why we're discussing it when we start out. So initially, you might. But it was it was November eighth. Okay. Okay. Um, you got up. You made a fire. That's what you apparently were saying. The kids uh, were getting ready for school. Your wife was getting ready for her work. Yeah. Okay. Um, hopefully that helps you. So then then what happens? Do you remember what you did? Um, I know you mentioned something about PlayStation and watch TV or whatever and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, I guess after the kids went to school, um, I probably beat around the house, got on the computer. Um, I know I played places quite a bit along of the day, okay. you know, until the kids got home. Uh, How long were you on a computer, you think? Uh, that day, uh, I usually am anywhere from half an hour to an hour, probably. Well, you, you say usually, okay? Yeah, if I pop on it, yeah. But, but on this day? How long? How that? long? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Do you... Are you, do you know where you went? On the computer? Mm -hmm. um, I know I check uh, weather sites, sports sites. Um, I noticed your shirt says Jesus saved. Did you go to any any websites about religion? I, I don't know about that. Man. Do you? Yeah, I do often. Are you a religious person? Yeah, I believe okay. that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I checked in religious sites that day in particular. Okay. Anywhere else? Um, I didn't check the porn site. I don't know. Yeah. You think? I might have. Yeah. Yeah, we know you did. Okay. Okay. So, I'm just trying to confirm what you remember from what is, you know, what we're seeing. Okay. What we know. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and, you know, Ultimately, when we talk to you about this, I'm here to help you. Okay. All right. I really am. I, I I'm a Christian too. Okay? okay. So I need you to do the best you can to remember, which I know you can. Okay. I'm just nervous. I'm hanging. I've gone through this so many I know. times. And that's why. <laughs> that's why we want to take care of this today. Okay. We are. And. Um, I'm here to help you. Okay. Uh, I know that, you know, the investigation is completed, okay? And the only way that Brian and I can help you is if you specifically stick to the details and tell us exactly what happened and you're honest, okay? okay? And we will help you. Um, that's what I want to do. That's what I came here for. Um, because I can only imagine it's been very hard for you. Oh, you know, apparently it's gotten to a point where you, you're, you're going to lose your marriage. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's what Brian shared with me because right. I asked him, how's he doing? Right. And he says, well, I, I, you know, he's, I think he's going to lose his marriage and it's, it doesn't look good, you know, 
and I know that you're involved in coaching. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you, you've been a part of this community for years. I mean, you grew up here. Mm-hmm. Your dad was a coach, yeah. 30 years, apparently. Yeah. You've been coaching. You know, you're well-respected. You're a reserve officer. So, you know, it's it's one of these situations where it, could, it, it can't have been easy, and it hasn't been easy on you. I'm very aware of that. So, to be quite honest with you, I need you to tell me so that I can help you. Mm-hmm. I need you to tell me the details, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, and and I'll go from there with you. Okay, okay? that's all I can do. Um, this I don't want to do the pitch and catch thing with you. You right. know what that is? I don't have to. Okay, I don't have to do that with you. What I want you to do is think. But uh, like when I was like you were asking me what all you did during the day, I'm trying to remember every detail. I'm and that's why I'm bringing up some it's... stuff, and I'll help you. But listen, there are things specifically that you have been very, very um very aware of the dates the times what you did specifically i just need you to be that way right now okay that's what i need you to do for you okay because i want this thing to end too for you okay Okay? make sense yeah okay so how long do you think you were on the computer you said you you say up to an hour i imagine okay but, I mean, and you know they got your computer. Right. Okay. Right. So, you know, and you just admitted, you know, yeah, it's on some porn sites. Do you remember what those sites were? No, I don't. Okay. Okay. No big deal. Yeah. Okay. Let's move forward. Um, what'd you do after after you were on the computer? Um, your, your wife's gone, right? She's right. not home. You're not right. with porn when your wife's home, right? Right. Okay. Um, I wish I knew what time it was I was on the computer. It might help a little. Uh, I know I messed around the house, picking up things here and there. Um, like I said, I was on a PlayStation for quite a long time. I mean, I was playing football games you know, for an awful long time. <laughs> was that after the computer? Um, if I was on the computer early, if you got the time on that, would have to, yeah, it would have to be. Okay. I, I played the PlayStation up to the time the kids came home. Okay. And then then what did you do? I imagine, uh, I think I ate lunch around noon or so. Okay. I ate something, I think, it was around there somewhere. Is that right, Brian? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't remember seeing that. That's what I'm asking mm-hmm. him, and yeah, I don't remember that. So that helps me to know that he ate lunch. Okay, go ahead. Um... Playing station, kids come home. Um, I might be on time here. I'm thinking three twenty maybe. Kids come home. We go to the I think it's called the dollar store on the other end of town. Call them a couple laser guns. Um, I imagine we're back by at least three forty. Um, I remember getting a fire going again. So you 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 did. I take it that your firewood is outside. Out back, yeah. yeah. Back so you left the house to go out yeah, back. Yeah, it's all back stacked up. Okay, so you, so there was a point in time when you you left the house with the kids. You couldn't see the kids. Right. They okay. Just, uh, they didn't go out and help you. No. Do the wood, right? Okay. So go ahead. Continue. Come back in. Get the fire going again. Um, I think once we got the fire going, um, uh, I might have started watching TV. I think I can't remember the exact time my son started doing his homework at the kitchen table. And which son was that? The old, my older boy. Okay. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's okay. the third. Um, I'm probably... Just watching TVs at the table. Uh, he was at that time might have been upstairs playing his video games. Um, yeah, he could see it's, you. Yeah, yeah. So, do you remember what you were watching? Oh, uh, I think around that time I've been news news channel or something. I know when we were eating, I was watching news too. Not 100% sure if I was watching news then, but I knew I was at 
when we were eating dinner. But when your son was at the table, kitchen table, yeah. you were watching TV, you know, you could see him. Yeah. So do you remember what you were watching then? I mean, specifically, right. uh, you know your son was there, so you were yeah, watching I don't, something. I don't know what I was watching, though. Or I flip the TV on. Maybe I was just glancing at it once in a while, doing odd things. I, you know, I'm not okay, sure. I just thought okay. I could help you. Yeah. To maybe you know, remember that, kick your yeah. memory. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, there. I think my wife gets home between. I thought it was between four thirty, four forty-five, but she thought. It could any be anywhere from four thirty to five. She thought it was more quarter till in between the quarter till and five. She thought when she got home. Okay. Uh in in particular on this day, would there be any reason why she got home after five? Um, you know, no. if if not if, on that day, if I think her work was saying, well, she left late because she worked overtime and she got in late. Right. Would I, that day be? Because I don't care about what she usually does. What, right. No, I think she specifically. Was, between quarter till five o'clock, somewhere in there. Okay, so, so not necessarily four thirty, more toward quarter to five, five o'clock area. Yeah, okay. I think so. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, she gets home. Um, roughly. I don't know if we had much of a conversation or not. <laughs> I know I was helping my son with his homework a little. She was helping him a little with his homework. Um, and she started getting supper around. Our neighbor. Maybe PlayStation, I think, upstairs. Or, Do you remember what time that was? Um, I was thinking we ate about six o'clock, I thought. So he probably came over around 5 30 then. It was over for a little while. Oh, about a half hour? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, so he came over and it was getting time to eat, so my wife sent him home. Uh, we ate, I don't remember what we ate. Uh, I think that's when I was watching CNN or some news channel while we were eating. We uh, sat there, talked a while. Um, after we ate, I'm not 100% sure what time. I know. I'm sure, we were watching TV afterwards. We usually get get around and get to bed about 8. Um, I know you usually do. I know yeah. that people usually do that. But in particular, it's very. That night, I remember putting my pajamas on and everything. My, they were, kids were upstairs. Okay, do you um, just before specifically, eight. okay, it was before eight. Yeah, because when the mother came over, I think it was around eight, eight, a little after eight, not much after eight, and we had to bring my son down because he was already up in his room. Okay, so it was a little bit after eight when the mother came to your house? Yeah, not much after eight, I don't think. Okay. Do you know her? Do I know her? I've known her, not real personal, I mean... When I used to DJ karaoke up the bar up here, she the Harvey House, yeah, Harvey House, she was always there. Because yeah. I read that, yeah, a couple times. Yeah. Okay, so when you say the mother, okay, not Jody the victim. No. Okay. So she came to our door as well after eight o'clock. Um, she pulled in the drive. I remember going to her one side window, break it out to see what it is. I had him come to our front door. She came in, talked to me for a little bit, asking me if we seen her daughter or did her daughter stop here. Um, my wife came out. She talked to her too, and then were I, you right there when she talked yeah, to your wife? Yeah. What did she say to your wife? Well, pretty much same thing. Asked if we seen her, or if she came here. She told us that her daughter was missing. Okay. Hasn't. It's supposed to be a certain time somewhere, I guess. Okay. So I grabbed my son and had brought him down so she could ask him. And she asked him if she, she, if he knew of any place she would might go, you know, a friend's house or 
Mm-hmm. And he said he had no idea. I guess he walked part way home with her. And I think it was up to the stoplight, and then they all went their separate ways. You mean all three After, of them went different directions? Yeah. Well, no, I, I think Mariah and Joey went together. Okay. But my son, he, he went together. And I'm um, really not close to my part of that family. Okay, so go ahead. Um, and you said, from what I understand, is that knowledge from that day, or is it over acquired knowledge that that's what happened? Then walking home, I found out. Yeah. Um, I can't remember. A few days after, maybe. Yeah, I, I don't know if exactly. Did somebody? Did your son say? Because we, I walked home with her to a point, yeah. and we split up. Did that. He must have told me, I don't know if it's that, that day or after things, you know. Because specifically, it's important to know when your son last seen her. Right. You know, well, like, he, he told me it was the stoplight, I guess. What, what the crossing guard is? Would that be I mean, 6 to 131. Okay. Yeah, I right think there. that's where he said that's where the all. School's on the other side? School will be on the other side other of 131. Side. Right. Okay. Okay, so then. Yeah, because they, they all kind of live in a different direction, right. right? Right. Okay. So, and and that was after school. Did he specifically say what time that was to her? I would think he said it was right after school. Up the, well, uh, if it's after school, I imagine it's between 3 o'clock and 3 Yeah, but I'm saying go. if your son's talking to mom and she's trying to figure out where she went last. Oh. You know, you're sitting there and you're asking your son with her, you know, did you see her daughter? She's looking for it. You know where she went, blah, blah, blah. Okay. He might have said that information's going to come out. He, he might have said something to her that he walked home with. I can't really remember if that's exactly what he said to yeah, her. The reason why I'm asking or bringing that up is because it might kick your memory in okay. that specific conversation. Yeah, because I, when people have conversations like that, you can take them to that place. And, and yeah. I think we're there. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't remember his exact words, what he said to her. Okay, so then um, what happens next? What does she do or what do you Okay, do? when the mother was there, she told us her daughter's missing. Um, she gets back out of the house. I told her, I said, I'll call Officer Donker. I called Officer Donker to see if he needed some help. And he goes, he seemed kind of stressed. He, um, he says, I don't know how exactly, I gotta remember how exactly what I'm sure do what you gotta do or whatever. I thought I took that as an okay. So I got dressed. Um, the mother left our house though. Another car pulled in our drive, another white car, I believe it was. There's two white cars in my drive. So your mom, the mom, the mother, she she ended up leaving totally, so some other car came into your driveway? Before or? she could back out. Okay, so she was in. still there getting ready to leave yeah. out the driveway. Yeah, and some other car, car pulled came. up. Yeah. Okay. I don't know who it was, though. I believe okay. it was another white car, though. And how long did they sit there and talk? Uh, a few minutes talking. Do you remember who who was visually, how many people it was? No, I don't. Okay. I don't remember how many people were there. I know she was talking to somebody, but I don't know exactly who it was. So specifically, you remember that mom was driving a white car, and then you said another white another car. Another white car pulled in. So there were two white There's cars. two white cars. And you remember specifically there were two white two cars. Two white cars. Okay. In our drive. Go ahead. Okay. And then when they left, I got all ready. Um, I put my clothes on or put my gun around me, my belt. Um, Grab my police hat, and I remember calling. I think phone or as a cell phone. Either way, I was calling. Well, I was talking to. Um, she kind of gave me info what was going on, where she left last, and um, is that. They uh, see him that that she told somebody that she was going to a store. Okay, you you just made a statement. Said the last to see them. He was the last to see them. 
her. her. Not her, but them. I'm so, her. did he say he saw somebody else with her? No. Okay. No. I, mean, I just her. want to clarify. Okay, yeah. No, you her. said them. No, I... I oh, that you said them? Her. Did I? Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. So, go ahead. Okay. Um. And from there... Did he tell you what time he saw her? Then she left at about quarter to five. He her leave. What did right. he say? I don't. Oh, I don't know exactly. Sure. Right. Okay. We tried to talk. I believe we talked. To... I believe that. I mean, was... I, I I know that the phone records indicate right. that you. I... Am I right, Brian? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I don't. So specifically. Said, but I, I just can't want, remember. I just want okay. to know. Maybe this will kick your memory okay. for you. I just want to know him. And when you and same phone? No, no, no. I know that. Okay, okay. I know that. So that means separately you spoke to him. That she's that he saw them, and they go her because I corrected you. Okay. Leave. At what time was that? Yeah, left around quarter till. Okay. Okay. I don't remember if not, and I can't one hundred percent sure that I talked to Trav or in DNS parking lot. Okay. I know you guys got the records. Well, we have the video records at yeah. DNS, right? And we have the phone records. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you know, so we we have that timeline. Okay. But. The issue is what's said, and and because, you know, it's in particular to your benefit okay. if you can tell us specifically what was said. Okay. Um. I remember how many times you talked to him. It had to have been, I would say, two or three times. I made the phone to Donker. Um, so, do you remember when you were with Docker when you were talking? Yeah, because I gave my phone to him. Where were you? I think we were in DNS, DNS at the time. Okay, did you talk to him before you got the DNS? I thought I did. I thought I, I actually, I thought I talked to uh, well, What you just said to me earlier was that you wanted to get to particulars. You wanted right. to see where she was last. or maybe I think I out. talked to him before I left the house, but I could be wrong. I mean, you guys got the phone right Okay, that's I mean, fine. Cool. Okay, I mean... So I just wanted to see if that could help you. Okay. Because that'll help you sometimes, remember. So okay. go ahead. Um, from there, I went to DNS, recorded a videotape. I guess I was there at 20 after. Mm. Is that... No. no. I thought that's what you told me. No. no. 20 after 8. No. No? No. no okay. No. I don't know what time I was there. Then. But so go ahead. After... Mother left and everything. I went there, talked to the store lady. Said we got a missing kid. Um, I went around the building, um, checked. I don't know if I went back in or not. If I did, you probably see my tape. So I don't. I don't know if I went right back into Dina's. Okay. Okay. Um, from there, I left and went south. 131. Um, I think what time did I? I think I went to the park first or was it behind the stores first? No, I'm just destroying that. And I went down, I was at the park, and that's where I met Donker, Officer Donker. Um, I searched the park. I was on, I would be on the north side of the park sitting where my truck was. And when I pulled out from there, turned left, I seen Officer Donker, or I'm not, I didn't know it was him at the time. Police car to my right. Mm -hmm. And I went up to the light, turned around, came back on the south side of the park, and that's where me and Officer Donker met. That's when he gave me a flashlight. That's, he asked me then if I had my gun on me. I don't know why he did, but he did. And at the time, I said no. And I didn't want to get in trouble. <laughs> it was, I mean, I don't know. So I took it off. Um, let's 
see from there. Did you have your gun belt though? I a regular belt. Oh, with okay. A holster. I got it. Okay, it wasn't I, Sam Brown. It wasn't. What's that? It wasn't Sam Brown. It was a leather. You know what Sam Brown is? It's your your belt. Did you know? wear with your uniform. No, it wasn't my duty belt. Okay, just regular belt. Just okay. I just want to know. Okay, from there. See, I wonder if I want before the park. I don't know if I want before the park or after the park, around the back of the stores. I have to look at my notes again because I went behind the stores, and that's where I remember seeing a bike off here that is called Falcon Mart. It was kind of behind it, to the side of the level. Um, told Officer Doc about that. We never did go back and check it. Um, and when I was heading south out of town, I went to the grocery store down there. There's two vehicles there. Went up the windows, couldn't get to see anybody. Went around the building, went through the baseball diamonds. Um, our old football practice fields are back there. Our new field, well, it's supposed to be a new field, never happened, but shine the light all back through there. And there's a back road from our football, baseball fields. Comes back, uh, east side school would be my left side, some shine lights there and there. There's a little wooded area. I remember stopping, getting out, looking back, and this little something caught my eye, something shiny or something. So I went back just to check it. There was nothing. Well, oh, Docker called me when I was up at the field, over the baseball field. Okay. Um, told me to meet him back at Tumble Down, Tumble Dam Path. Mm -hmm. So I'm going that way, shining both sides. I go back to the path. He's not there. I believe I got on the phone, called him right in that area, and I think he said he was at the PD, so I went back to the PD. Um, I don't know if that's the time we hooked up or we actually hooked up before that. Somewhere in there, we, me and him hooked up, I rolled with him mm -hmm. in the police car. We went to DNS again. He talked to the people who worked the register. Um, they weren't working during the day. They told us who was or the manager is or whatever. I just got a quick question okay. to clarify. When you went back with Docker, uh, was that the same person that you talked to when you went there the first time, DNS? When we went back to DNS? No, when you went to DNS. When I went to DNS, yeah, you said you was went it to the DNS same person when we came that back? That Donker talked to. Oh. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm not 100 percent sure if it was the same lady. So you talked to a lady I the first time. I based on what you said, you talked to a lady. I can't the first remember. Time. Do you remember what you said to her? The lady when I talked to her, I said we had a missing, uh, missing person. Um, I to break the ice and said you don't have no dogs or anything behind your you know, store or nothing, chained up or whatever. Um, you didn't say anything else. that we were looking for a missing kid. Okay. Um, man, I can't think of anything else what I said. Go ahead. Okay. Keep going. Um, so where am I at now? I'm going back to the station. Me and Donker, say, I don't know if I, hopefully I got these in the right order. I mean, I had to look at my paper. But me and Donker got together. We went out there talked to the manager of the, or whoever the lady was um, and I know we stopped at the gas station we come back to town on the right hand for the bridge we stopped there he went in there I went around the building with a flashlight um, we what's the name of that gas station I don't know Let's get it again the gas station over here, just before the bridge, we stopped the there. The signal? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it's called. <laughs> on the other side of the bridge? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We stopped there. How long has that been there? Um, it's been there a while. Yeah. yeah. It was there then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was Sitgo then. Yeah, it might have changed names. Yeah. It might have changed names. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. But um, I know we went, I think it's the same night, we went to the trailer park. 
and Constantine. We were he was checking up on something previous. Um, I I am not 100 percent sure it's the same night because I get the nice mix, working together mixed up, but I think it was the same night. He was checking on something in the trailer park. I think also, unless I'm wrong, on the same night we got gas. I thought we got gas in the police car over across from Ed Rosina and across from the cemetery there. There's another gas, little gas private station there okay. where they get gas at. Um, I don't know then if we came back to the station. I know there were. I think some of the family members were there at the station. We were talking to Donker. I told Donker I was going to go check near my mom's sister's house. By then, um, really, we were just looking for a bike. You know, most of, I mean, most of the night, you know. See a bike out of place. And but, but if there's a missing girl, right. this is where i got to ask you the question, because that statement that you just made is concerning. Okay, When you say you're just looking for a bike, I well, understand we got, the right, direction. Right, right. We're not just looking for. Oh, well, I understand. I understand. We're looking, we're looking for, for a child. I, I know. I know that. Okay. I mean, obviously I understand what that. you were saying. Okay, yeah. and I, I've heard and read the interviews, and you were asked that question about the bike. Okay, why would you be looking for a bike? Okay, I understand why you're saying it to me, but practically speaking, we're not looking for. A we're bike. looking. We're looking for, for a little baby. <laughs> yeah, I understand girl that. Who belongs to someone? Right. Right. Okay. Go ahead. Um. I think we were at the station at that point in time. Family members were there. I don't know who all they were. I told Donker I was going to go look down here at my mom's house. Um, I went down my mom's alley there, shine my light. I found a bike that I thought fit the description. Um, I called Donker down there. Mm -hmm. um, while they were coming down, I remember searching my mom's yard and stuff. Um, they all came down to Auker and the whole group that was with them. And I remember we were all standing there looking at this bike and I remember one tall kid, black hair, I think a black hair kid, said, yeah, that's the bike. And more and more we looked, we realized that grass was growing up through the spokes and stuff. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's been there a while. Um, after that, I remember I was parked in apparently the back driveway of my mom's house because Steven, and I guess it was supposed to be John, but I don't, at that time, I don't think it was John. I thought it was some other, one of Steven's friends wanted to get out. They were leaving wherever they were going. I don't know, but I had to move my truck. Um, from there, after that whole, Can I just stop you for a yeah. second there? You were there and you found this bike. Right. And... Did you say you left and then came back again and had to move your truck? No. The bike was just before my mom's. Okay. Their big white brick building. Yeah, where you showed me. Yeah. Okay. And, no, I pulled up after that and looked while I was waiting, looked through my mom's yard. And then when the whole group came back, we all went back to the bike. Okay. So after you saw the bike and you're, you're waiting for people to come and look at it? I believe I pulled up. You pulled I up? I must though because they asked me to move my vehicle. Okay. I can't see myself get into a couple times. But I might have. I mean, okay. I'm not 100%. Okay. Not. I just wasn't sure what right. you said. So I, I okay. you know, that part threw me for a little loop and I just had okay. to clarify that as all. Well. Pretty good. Okay. Um, okay. I guess from there we all went back to the PD. Um, here for a little bit. I don't know how long it was. Uh, I remember telling Officer Donker, I said, I'm going to go search the boardwalk. So I took the flashlight, went down there, searched by the river, uh, walked clear through the boardwalk. It's kind of freaky, but up through the, the park area. Um, skate park, part two, checking there. And then I, that's when I noticed that there's vehicles. Um, the corner, there used to be a house not there, it used to be a big old hole. Um, so there's two vehicles parked, a white car, like a Camaro, I don't know, a reddish burgundy or something like that. When I was walking up, there was two teenager kids, tall kids, behind the car. On the side of the car, there was 
a couple girls. Mother was off a little ways towards the hall, I believe. Uh, girl named Stephanie, I think she's back a little. Um, as I'm walking up, I think I, I either called my sister or she called me. They said something about they searched the schools. Somebody already searched the cemetery. Um, okay. okay. When you say someone already searched the cemetery, yeah. for a person to make that statement to you, that means that that was suggested. So did you suggest to search the cemetery? Which makes sense because your sister said it's already been searched. I might have. I might have said. I, I understand what yeah, I'm saying. I see saying. what you're saying. Um, That's how it works. Yeah. I, okay. But I know she said this. They searched the school. And search the cemetery. And she's or telling whatever. you this. Yeah. Okay. So. So I might. Have, I could have brought it up. You, well, you had to because okay. she said somebody already searched the cemetery. Already okay. searched the cemetery. So that was suggested. Okay. Search the cemetery. I might. Then I, I probably. You remember one time, specifically, you told Donker during that time period when you should go look at the cemetery. What time did I tell Donker that? Yeah, and that I remember time. during that earlier, I was with him driving around. I made a comment, I guess after Halloween, I go, I even went, woo, you know, let's check the cemetery. So you had said that to him. Yeah. Yeah. We know you said that to right. him. So we want to make sure that you acknowledge that right. you said that to him. Okay. No. All right. Let's go back to where your sister was then. Um, I had her on the phone when I was coming up to the vehicles. Um, and then we got off the phone. What, um, time, what time was that? I don't know. I timed this. Okay. It's time. I don't know. Sure. Um, I remember walking up to the car, to the side of it, glanced, this glance, and it, there, the back seat, blonde haired kid. Um, and I remember saying something to Mama, oh, good, you found her. And she goes, no, that's the neighbor neighbor kid, I believe that's what she said. Um, and I remember going, she asked, we got a flashlight, and I went up the hole, shining in there. Um, can, can I stand? Look. Do you want to show? Yeah. Sure. Um, when I'm over here, the hole's right here, shining and stuff. When I turn back around, I got the... Girls in front of me, and the mother, I think, comes around on the right side of me. And you start talking, I tried to, wanted to get a better description of the bike again. When I started, well, meanwhile, I'm shining towards the car every once in a while. Something just kept drawing me back towards the car, so I'm shining. Now I'll step and just shine a little. And I started going back to the car around them. And the two guys in the Camaro, whatever it was, get out real quick and muck me. So then, you know, I'm at making sure I got the right description on the bike. And like I told him, kick myself in the ass for not going back there and really checking that car. Mm -hmm. You know, I, like I told him, I said, my heart gut feeling was that that could have been her. You know, mm -hmm. and I know you keep telling me. Do you believe that? In my heart? I, I was just going to say something. I know you keep telling me you got it counted for. Something about that still bugs me. Yeah. And the reason why it bugs me is because, bam, they find her in the cemetery. You know? Mm -hmm. And that bugs me. But if you, you told me it was counted for. But it's funny how later down the road that, I guess it wasn't her neighbor, I guess it's some relation. At least that's the hearsay. I mean... But my heart still thinks it could have been her. But I'm the dumbass didn't do my job right. You know? But if you swear with someone to the column, that's not my new body, you know. Near policeman, reserve. Yeah. But to me You don't believe him. No, I do believe him, but it just if he says yeah to T that was a certain person, I get Okay, there's, you know, but some reason why I heard this, man, mm -hmm. it's too coincidental. Bam, there she's at the cemetery. You know, and it just, man, that makes so much sense, you know. It's like. Does it make sense? To me, 
I don't want to blame nobody. But to me, it is... Why would her mom... I know. That's too many people involved. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to address this issue okay. real quick, and then we're going to go more. Okay. We're going to go forward. Okay. Why would her mom get you involved over by the dirt hole when her daughter is in the back seat? Look, why would she do that? If, if that really was why her... Why would she be at the dirt hole and this girl be in the back seat? Why would she have come to your house they, hours earlier? Okay. Right. Why would she continue to do that? That don't even make sense. I don't want to accuse nobody. I guess it was a weird listen, thing. Can I tell you something? She don't come up for three interviews. Mm-hmm. Okay. This story that you're talking about here, and I call it a story. Okay. okay? And, and I got to be honest with you because if I'm going to help you, I can't have you bringing people in that weren't there. She was not introduced. This blonde headed kid was not introduced for three years into your testimony. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's a story. We're not going there. Uh, that's fine. That's okay? fine. I'm going to help you with that one. Okay. You can't you can't even go there. Okay. Because that's a story. Okay. We're not going to go off on that bunny trail. That's not even a speculation. Okay. Trust me. Okay. What okay. I tell you. All right. Okay. Yep. She wasn't even in your statements for three years. That's right. Okay. She didn't come up till November 20th of 2010. Got it. Yep. Okay. I'm here to help you. Yep. But that's I ain't going to let you do that. Right. No, okay. I know. I just. Okay. So uh, continue. Okay. Um, I think where we're at now. Okay, we're back here. Um, that's when I told the mother, let's check cemetery. Even though I was told earlier, everything was checked. I'm from this town. I would have still checked the cemetery myself. I would have still checked the schools myself. So from there, they got in their vehicles. I came to PD, told Officer Donker where we're going next. I get in my truck. I go this little alley right here in the police station here, down on this road, mm-hmm. and straight up it. I remember going through a stop sign. Um, and there's a little old park when you get to Five Point on the right hand side. I got out of there, searched search out my flashlight. After I got back in my truck there, I turn left, go down, that's Florence, I think. The cemetery, I believe it was the first row, pole in there, and Ed Rosina lived there. They had a big, they called it the lion's den, a little shack thing on their deck. I could tell they were in it. I remember either I called them, they called me. We talked to each other quite a few times during that little process there. But I told them, I said, we told them what was happening. We got a missing girl. Um, I'm shining a light, going slow through there. I hear a yell and then Kind of got my attention. I drive up a little more. When I turned, whatever the road is, it turned to the uh, east. And that's where I see everybody running around, screaming. I pulled my truck up to a certain point, get out, run up there, and that's when I realized the mother had her. And that's when I realized she was dead. You could tell. Do you remember how far you pulled up? Uh, not ex- not exact. I pulled up so far, stopped, and ran out. And as I was run, or as I got out there, I remember everything going on. I remember getting on the phone, with Officer Donker. And as soon as I turned around, he was right there. So he must have been, you know, a matter of. So you know, knowing that we have the times and the phone calls and the movements, um, is that concerning to you at all? About times, mm-hmm. I don't know exact times. That's my problem. What time was what right. that night? Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Um, so, in regards to your statements to us, to the police, and to other police officers, your statements. Um, I need to ask you: Are they true? Yes. All of them. Yes. Okay. To the best of your knowledge. Best of my knowledge. Okay. So, if if Brian wants to discuss some issues, maybe concerns, because we allowed you to say what you had to say. Mm-hmm. Um, we want to go back to the details now. Okay. Okay. And um, what I want you to know is there's got to be an explanation for some of this stuff. Okay. But I don't want you to pull out the blonde haired girl in the back seat. All right. Well, I'll leave okay. it. I, I, yeah. I can tell you right now that 
and I told you earlier, that's not true. Okay, yeah. we know that. All right. So, um, and we know that based on your own account and people's account and other people's account. But can I say one thing? Yeah. There was a person in the back of that car. I'm not saying that. Okay. Okay. That doesn't matter to okay. us. Okay. The issue here is, and, and we've gone through this, we, we're fully aware of how it went um, through the process. The reason why I asked you to be more detailed in the morning, okay, and what went on is because we specifically have evidence that says something different, okay? But we know we have a dead girl, mm -hmm. okay? You've taken three polygraphs, so to hear you or to hear anyone say to you, we know you're involved. I know Brian probably, when he walked in here, said to you, we're done with our investigation, we're fully done, we know what happened, we need some intimate reasons as to why. Okay, does that make sense? Would you agree with me? Absolutely. So, in regards to that, we know you're involved in this. Okay, that's what I'm trying to help you. All right? You have a choice in your process. Um, you know, we have video of you during the day. Um, we have uh, other evidence. I'm not going to give it to y'all. Okay? But now I'm going to say to you, you might want to reconsider how the day went. Okay? <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay? It's not, you can't deny it anymore. The issue right. is, why? That's the issue. And the only person that can fill that in is you. All right? So we're going to give you that opportunity again. We want to go through this with you because we can't help you and, and somebody in your position, okay, as a Christian, because I've heard you say you're a Christian. I see, you know, you got your shirt on, and I'm a Christian too, okay? And there's a lot of reasons why people do stuff that sometimes it's not their fault, okay? And I believe in my good heartedness that this is the case, but I can't say it. You have to say it, all right? And in doing that, by doing that, you'll have the opportunity to help yourself and me help you and Brian help you, okay? Because it doesn't look that way to other people, okay. all right? So, I, I is guess, there anything going to change? I don't know what say else I'm supposed to have done. 145? <laughs> 145. Yeah, I mean, you, 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 I got you to basically tell me the truth about the porn site. Right. right? Okay. Um, is there anything going to change in your testimony? Do you want to change any of that? For that day. For that day. Now, I think, Brian, you were, I think it was you talking to me. It was Chief Adele. There was one day I was on my walkie talkies. I talked to a couple people. I mean, my son would talk to each other back before the school, had some girl flirting with me. I don't, I don't think that was the same day. I drew, drove by to see who it was. I don't, you guys got all the records. What day was that? I don't know. I guess that's why I'm wondering if that's what you guys are getting to. Now, this is your opportunity. Do you understand what yeah. we have our evidence? Do you understand? I don't know what else I, you said something, I did something at one o'clock. What the hell did I do at one o'clock? It's a home playing PlayStation. Unless that's the same day that I drove by to see what it was. You tell me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's the same day. That's the only thing I can think of that. See, that's part of the issue. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, you're a Christian, right? Mm -hmm. So if you want the grace in your life that you need right now, <laughs> You know, the only way you're going to get that is if you're honest, okay? Um, you know, I appreciated the fact that you immediately admitted about the porn because Christians are human beings, yeah. okay? Um, you know, you've been married four times. Yeah. You know, if you were a perfect person, <laughs> yeah. right, you wouldn't have been married four times, right. okay? Yeah. Nobody's perfect. The issue about being a Christian is... When you're given the grace to admit something, you need to take that opportunity. Um, 
you were raised a Christian, you got saved when, 2003? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what, what kind of church do you go to? Went to a Baptist church. Okay, Baptist church, very biblical, right? Mm -hmm. Solid in its Bible understanding. Have you ever read the story about David and the prophet Nathan? I'm sure during the years. <laughs> okay, and, and David at the time was king. Okay, Nathan was a prophet of God. And he came to David and he said to him, David, I have a story for you. Okay, this is the story. He said, there was a man who had many sheep, many, many sheep, all kinds of sheep. And his neighbor had one sheep and he loved that sheep. His neighbor loved it. And he took care of that sheep and he fed it and he kept it in the house. And he, well, that man who had many, many sheep came to him and said, my friends are coming over. I would like to have your sheep. And he said, well, that's the only sheep I got. You can't have that one. Well, he took it anyway. And he took that sheep and he, he killed that sheep. Now, Nathan, the prophet, is telling David this, okay, because God spoke to him. And he tells him, David, what should happen to that man who stole that man's sheep and killed him? What did David say? He said, that man deserves to die. You know what Nathan said? Nathan said, you're the man. And David had a choice, right? He was king, right? He could either deny it or he could do what? Which he did. He fell to his knees and he repented because he made a mistake. He stole Uriah's wife. He saw her bathing on the roof and he stole his wife and had gotten her pregnant, okay? And the, the issue is, as a Christian, when God brings you to a place of being honest, you have an opportunity. And I really believe that. And if you're a Christian, if you are truly a Christian, I I guess I do. Right? And, and the only way to be forgiven is to be honest, okay, about this, yeah. all right? And I'm, I'm telling you. I know you keep asking me about what well, I did that day. You, you will never forget what you did that day, but, okay? because it won't go away until until you're honest about it. And this is where we're at, okay? That's why I'm here, to help you. That's why I brought up the walkie-talkie thing. I, was it the same day? I don't know. Okay, and and you said this lady was flirting with yeah. me. What's the real truth about that? What's the she real was truth? flirting with me. I wanted to see who it was. Uh, okay. She, and, and, she asked and, me, you ever been hit on like this before? Um, no. Listen, listen <laughs> that's just a, a sidebar to the issue that we're talking about. Was your life perfect back then? Was my life perfect? No. Relationship with your wife perfect? No. No. We got it rough. I mean, you were on a porn site, right? Mm -hmm. Was it because you were hitting a home run every day at home? Huh? No, our life wasn't perfect. Yeah. How old were you then? Uh, how long ago was it? Four years? Um, you know. 39? I mean, you know. You're 39, so you're a young man still. Okay. The issue is, <laughs> you weren't living a perfect life. No, you weren't making the best decisions. But right. today, you're in a different situation. Truly a different situation because that's not the way people think in this case. All right, They have some concerns. I think Brian's probably related to you. He's, if anybody's been in your corner, it's been Brian. And as I looked at and talked to you, and hear you say what you got to say, you know, I'm not necessarily... Uh, believe in what they believe, okay, about you, okay? But then again, I've talked to a hundred people who've been involved in homicides, and trust me, trust me, some of them did mean to do it, and some of them, it was an accident, okay? And that's where we're at. I, I, it, there's no other way around it, okay? So I'm, I'm trying to help you. Right. Brian's trying to help you. And Brian, correct me if I'm wrong, even the process of, you know, um, you know, the videotape that he got earlier in the day. I mean, he's wanting to say what he was doing in the day. It's I different. don't know what else I could have been doing, you know. That's why I told you about the walkie-talkies, whether that was the same day or not. And, and listen. You know, I didn't have nothing to do with this girl's dad. Listen, don't say that because I don't want to hear it, okay? It's I fine. <laughs> Trust me. I know different, okay? The issue is when you get into the time that you were supposed to be at home, you weren't. We have proof. 
Okay, you just re- you just said it. You just told me what the evidence is. We got you on videotape. Okay, okay. The time that you say, but you know we have a whole lot more. Okay. okay, what I want you to do is tell me, okay, what happened when you came in contact with her. That's what I want to know. With who? With the girl, Joey. That was at the cemetery. No, I did not see her beforehand, guys. Listen. Oh, Listen, come we're on. not going to go there. Okay? <laughs> oh, we won't go there. Brian, you want to talk about the cemetery at all? Or do you want to talk about that issue? I told you, you mean, that there's a couple of things that you have to get over. Okay. And you know what those are. And I know what they are. Okay. And you... You guys act like, what, I found her earlier or something? <laughs> I did not find her. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Because you were there. I was there. Where was this there supposed to be at? You know where you were. And I know where you were. That's a problem. It doesn't have to be a problem, though. That's, that's, I understand what you're saying, but I don't know where it's supposed to be, I was supposed to be at. You know, I'm not going to have people put things in my mind or words in my no, mind no, that no, I wasn't, you know, what he's going to do. Okay. Listen, that's why we're trying to get you to be honest, okay, so that we can defend you. Okay, that's, that's the truth. Okay. All right, I'm telling well, you. I was fine. I, we can't tell you what to say. We're not going to. That's why. That's, okay. When you start saying, was I Was I here? Was I here? It's like, listen, you tell us again exactly. And you know what? You pretty much know. Brian has been walking you through this thing. He's been close to you. He's been sticking to you. And he's doing everything he can. So without basically, um, he, he's telling you, look, you're a well-respected person in the community. You've been here a long time. And I know that too. Okay? So... You got to be honest with him. If if you if you sense that he's saying <laughs> to you, you think you so you think I saw her earlier, or I was at that cemetery. <laughs> you, you know, you need to be honest to him. So he's, he's not going to say to you, yes. He's not going to say to you, <laughs> okay. yes. You were there. I know you were there. We know you were there. He's not. He can't. That's, that's okay? fine. Well, I'm not the only reason he can't is he can't. Oh, well, we're not asking you to. Okay. Okay. We're not asking you to. Okay. You know, when you go through the scenario, even the fact that you introduced the cemetery, what you said, okay, right in here, I heard you say it is, if I was, I would have went to the cemetery. If I was doing this, well, you were doing it. You even brought it up early on in the day to go to the cemetery, but timing is everything. So timing. why didn't why didn't also why didn't an officer doctor go then? Why didn't you? Yeah, I could. I guess I could have done. Why didn't you? You're the school. one who said if I was dunk or if I was. Yeah. Well, you're Ray yeah. McCann. Okay. All right. So, I'm not asking that question. You're asking that question yeah. with your own statements. Yeah. You're incriminating yourself basically by not doing something that you said. Well, if I was dunk or I would have. Well, early on, and you're bringing it up. He's the guy that's in charge over me. He grew up there. I. If you will walk down that boardwalk. Creepy as it is, yeah. as you said, creepy, right? right? Creepy. Yeah. Why wouldn't you go into a cemetery? If that was your thought. Yeah. Well, well that would have been searched too. I would have searched the schools. You were in the truck, right? You were in your yeah. truck. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Wouldn't you? Don't you think that's kind of difficult for us to explain to the group of people who are basically ready to arrest you and put you in prison for the rest of your life? Okay, so Which this is the thing. Okay. okay, we know that you have issues with prior to, and we know you have issues afterwards. Okay, we do. That's all I can tell you at this point. Trust me when I tell you that. I, I can't be more honest than I am. And we're asking you to do this because when we started, we told you this investigation is over. Okay, the only thing we're doing now is trying to help you. And that's literally the case. Okay. Okay, so in process, let's walk through this again and share what you have to share. Okay, do it the right way. Do I don't, it the way I don't know what else to, to tell you guys. I told you everything. I was at home that day, uh, playing PlayStation on the computer. Um, if I did leave, if it was the same day of the walkie talkie thing, I brought that up. Just uh, in case that was the same day. Don't you think that's. I don't important. think it was. I could be wrong. It could be. Don't you think, um, even if it was the day before and then you went out again, okay, don't you think that's important information? 
And you think that's important? Let's say that. To have it on the right day? I think well, it's yeah, important, it's important because, but because, how because could, what? How can I remember if it was that day or the day before? Well, because the young lady came up missing. Yeah, I understand that. November 8th, okay, 2007. I understand that. That's a, that's a date that won't go away. Yeah. All right? That's the way it works. So I you not, remember. I did not see her until the cemetery. I don't, I don't know. What happened to, what happened to, well, I possibly could have been out on the walk of talkie. What happened to that? I could have been that day. Okay. But I, it, What'd you do me, on I that don't day? think it's that day. What did you do I mean, on that day? On the day? Mm -hmm. What'd you do on that day that you were on that walkie talkie and talking to that woman? I told you guys I drove by to see if, who it was. Mm -hmm. Didn't see nobody. Once? About once. I, I think I went through, came back. Mm -hmm. And how long did you talk to her? A few minutes. I don't know, 20 minutes maybe? You think? I don't know. I'm not 100% how long we talked about. You remember what you talked about? She was flirting with me. That's a pretty simple statement. I don't know exactly. You know, the lady who serves me coffee. Right, right, I understand what you're saying. You know, I don't know exactly what all she said to me. Okay. You know, I don't know what all she said to me. She, I remember her asking me, said, you never been flirted with before or whatever? And, I remember telling her, I said, I say, you know who I am, bro. I coached in this town. I said, I probably know who you are. But she wouldn't tell me who she was. She yeah. wouldn't tell you who she, where she, who she was? Mm -hmm. Why Why did you go there to look for her? Because I wanted to see who was who was talking to me. How well, you know they where, told me. They, how do you know where to go? Because yeah. the person told me. So that's part of your conversation. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to pitch and catch with her. Right, right. I mean, you know, she told me where she's at. I said, well, I will So then you went over there. I drove what by. What did she say? What did she say to you? Tell me what she I said. I don't know what all she said to me. She, where is this by? She well, said that, right? She told me the street, whatever, brown house. So I drove by. Did you see anyone? No. no. Did no. you ever get out of your truck? There, no. No, or anywhere through there when you were driving. On the walkie-talkie then? Mm -hmm. Or after? No, I don't think so. Did you ever take your dog for a walk? Nope. Mm -hmm. I mean, I probably have around our block. I know, I, I was asked if I walked a dog near the... When did you do the day after? Day after. The day after you talked to her on the walkie-talkie. I don't know. It's amazing you would remember that mm -hmm. the day before. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. How do you know we know that you talked to her? Because I was told before. I was Chief Fidel, I think, brought up. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, how do you think we found that out? How do you think well, this group of people found out about the walkie-talkies? Yeah, and what you did. Probably. Uh, and how we got your we got evidence something probably different. after the case whatever when everybody gives tips in it it was probably one of the tips hey the guy was you know walkie talkie you know you think they investigated it I'm sure they checked it out yeah and you know that the state police is not like you know a village police department right. do you understand what I'm saying yeah <laughs> yeah we're not okay and that's what I'm trying to tell you you know we, we're touching on the surface here when I tell you that this investigation is completed. I'm giving you an opportunity. We're giving you an opportunity. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just gave you a little sample. Yeah. You know, these guys are pretty good, you know. And, you know, the, the computer thing, the porno, and what you did, and then the video they got. You ever heard of biometrics? Mm -hmm. Well, even in this little podunk house here, this village, there's cameras all over the place, okay? And they have dates stamped in and time, okay? And we have a biometrics unit that can go back and look at that stuff, and that's what mm -hmm. these guys do, okay? So you have a real problem. Your problem is you weren't at home, okay? I you were out. Mm -hmm. On that day? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean... <laughs> So that's a pretty big difference no, no. you had sat on for three and a half years, don't you think? That's got to be the same day I was playing PlayStation. 
I'm not saying you didn't okay. play PlayStation. You know, That's not I the issue. Uh, you can bring in PlayStation and porno and everything. Trust me. We can I, I don't I'm not denying that. But that's a pretty big thing to forget that you were out in your truck driving around at that time period. I don't remember being out in my truck driving around that time period. <sighs> that would be a that would be a thing to forget if you were hiding something. <laughs> well, I'm not hiding nothing. You wanna bet? Okay, I'm trying to help you. I, I know you're trying to help me, but listen, I don't know what listen, I'm supposed this to be is hiding. The issue. Well, just the fact that you didn't bring that up in the first place. Because now I'm talking to you and you're like, the walkie talkie thing. That was, if you knew that was there, you should have said. When I gave you the opportunity, you should have said that. I don't know if it's the same day. Yeah. You could have said that. I don't know if it's the same day. Well, I'm but sorry listen, I didn't. Three years you've been saying, I was home, yeah. didn't go out, blah blah blah. What else are you saying that isn't true that we have something different? Is there anything different in there? <laughs> you think? <laughs> I don't know what you guys are getting to. Why don't you just get to it? Instead of trying to I don't to know what to tell you guys. You. Sure you do. You know what? Sure you do. Listen, I, I'm I'm trying to help you. Straight I up. know what you're trying to help Straight me. Why don't you get there? Was trying to help me and you tried to get me to, I don't know what you were trying to do, get me to confess to something I didn't have no part of, and now you guys are doing it again. No, Ray, that's, uh, I, I, uh, listen, there are lies in, in your whole account of that day. There are lies. And like he just said, we're not going to sit here and share them all with you, because that, that this, it's there, okay? Cutting. You are a good guy. I've already said this to you. You know how I feel about right. you. I've always defended you. Right. I think that you found yourself in a bad spot. Or there's there's another explanation that, that could possibly explain this. But you already said that that didn't happen. And that is that you found her. Mm -hmm. And you didn't know what to do about it. And it you. scared the shit out of you. And you didn't, you, you'd never seen anything like that before. So what do you do? You know, you don't know what to do. That would explain everything. And all I this know. stuff. But you I know? not find her. Not that anybody else knows. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> You're not, gonna, you're not gonna tell anybody that because it's an <laughs> embarrassing thing. No. You know, like I told you before, if I would have come across something like that, you'd have to call. You'd have to call the cops. You'd have to call an ambulance. That's something you don't just hide. I told you that before. That is true. Unless you have a reason to hide. A reason to hide. Well, I would have no reason to hide. So. That takes us back to another scenario that I don't believe is the case with you. Hmm. I don't believe it happened the way it's going to be painted that it happened. I believe that the only other explanation for you to be there is to find her, not to put her there. Because if you put her yeah. there, then you're screwed the whole rest of the day. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't find her. I don't know what to tell you guys. I know that you do know what to tell us, but yes. I know that you can't. What would be the reason why I can't tell you guys if I knew something? Answer that question yourself. You, know, you asked me before, are you being threatened? No, I'm not being threatened. Um, You know, I don't know. We could sit here for hours, like we, the other night, but I didn't find her. And I'll be damned yeah. if I found her to cover it up. Why would you? It wouldn't be a cover up. It's simply that you. Um, we you think I found her, panicked, and whoa, I don't know what to do. And then and directed everybody there so that you didn't have to be the guy because now they're going to point the finger mm -hmm. at you. Exactly. Okay, I see what you're saying. Because you weren't even fine. supposed to be out there working. Yeah. 
belt gun belt you already told to take that off so now if you find her it's like oh geez a pizza i think i did this I see Listen, saying, but if if that's a scenario you need to you need to be honest that's yeah. what we're trying to say because there's there's it there's only other way there's no, only if I, other if way if i would have found her they would have known from the get-go you know donker would have been there the police we'd probably have to stay there everybody well <laughs> i think you were trying to get them there I think you were trying to get them there eventually. I think you were trying to get people to the cemetery, weren't you? I mean, you were telling everybody to go to the cemetery. Go to the cemetery. No, go to the cemetery. Okay. okay? Yeah, I see what you're saying. No, I didn't put her there. I didn't find her. Okay. So, you know. We're not even saying that. What we're saying is you found her, but you were afraid because you didn't want them to think you put her there, okay? okay? And to be quite honest with you, that could explain why you failed that question, is because you were thinking that way. And we can't help you. We can't get you taken care of unless you are honest. That's why you're here. Guys, I'm being honest. You guys are my witness. I didn't find her, you know? Well, so when, it would, this okay, thing would never then been let's, go to the, let's go to the other scenario then. If you didn't find her, okay, let me go to the other scenario okay. here that it's, they got evidence, okay, that you came in contact with her, okay, and, and okay, you were on, you were on the porn site, okay, you are trolling on the porn site, you're having a problem, so you, you were looking to hit a home run here, Chief, okay, okay this is what they're going to paint, I'm okay. not saying okay. this. I'm telling I'm you, this is what they're going to say to you, okay? We feel different, but I'm telling you what they're saying, okay? Okay. You, you're trolling along, and you come across this little girl, okay? And we don't know fully how you came across her, uh, if it was because she was headed over to your son's, or you caught her in your car, but in the process, we know that your son, okay, was asked by her to date, mm -hmm. okay? Is that correct? You know that. So. Yeah. You know that because you told me that, okay, and I've heard you say it, okay, so you know that. So their their situation is that you ran into this little girl, okay, and in the process of a very short time, something bad happened real fast, okay. okay. Um, for instance, you know, obviously you know since you were there, do you know anything, and correct me if I'm wrong, Brian, about the handcuffs? What about the handcuffs? I'm asking you. I own one pair and they got them. Do they? Yeah. Just one pair, yeah. huh? You don't own any other pair? No, the only pair I got has Keith Cantrell's name on them. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Ray, that is a lie. How would I have two? <laughs> what do you mean it's a lie? It's My belt only carries one um, handcuff thing. So does mine, and I have multiple pairs. No, I don't have multiple pairs. How many do you have? I have one pair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we have some if you don't. I told you that there are some problems, and that is one of them. And I'm glad that you just brought it okay. up. Okay. We know, we know of more than one pair. We know where you got it. We know the brand of it. We know a lot. Okay. okay. Where did well, I get another pair of handcuffs? No, so no, then no. we go to the scenario. Okay, you don't have to try to convince us okay. because we know. Okay, okay. you got two <laughs> pair. This is the issue. They're saying this. We're saying, hmm. Okay, he's got two pair. No problem. All right. This is the scenario. You run in contact. Something bad goes. But maybe this is their thought. Maybe Ray is living a double life. I mean, Ray says he's a Christian. Ray says he's this, that, a coach, whatever. But when mom leaves to work. Ray trolls the streets looking to pick someone up. Gets on porn before he does it. Jacks off. Goes to a religious site. A couple of them to feel better. And he leaves the house. Okay? This is what they're saying. All right? You understand what I'm telling That's you? We're just seeing again. Okay. Oh, yeah? Well, just so you know, uh -huh. that these are the same people that just convicted somebody with no body. All right? Yeah. Are you hearing me? So we're going through this process, all right? And I'm trying to tell you, I don't believe that's what happened, but this is what they're saying, okay? okay? Make contact with this girl. 
somehow. Something goes bad real fast. But raise a pervert. Raise a predator. Raise a cop, and he knows how to do this stuff. And he's been around it enough. Okay, this is what they're going to paint. This is what he does. Okay, and he's had a lot of problems with women. Right? Definitely wants to hook up with her. Made that very public. They can paint that picture pretty clear. Trust me when I tell you that. Okay? Then something goes bad real fast, so you have to put her away. Okay? You have to hide the body because you panicked. All right? Next thing you know, you're getting your kids ready for bed, and mom knocks on the door, and oh shit, what do I do now? Okay? They can paint that picture, and your behavior through that process, trust me, they can mark it out with phone calls. They can, they can do a lot. They got video. Trust me. But this is what I believe happened. Okay? Somewhere in this process, and Brian, correct me if I'm wrong, you, you and I are on the same page here. Okay? That's not what happened. You're not that kind of person. You're respected. I don't think you're that person at all. Um, okay? <laughs> but I'm just telling you what we're dealing with here. Right? And it's not a joke. I know it's this not is a not joke. a joke, and not against you guys, but this is bullshit. Okay, so if it's bullshit, I need the right shit. Okay, to put it in your own words, to be able to deal with this process. And I know that we know, we know you're not being honest. All we're trying to do is get you honest. Did let me ask you a question? Okay, uh, the girl shows up at your house. Okay, she wants to talk to your son because she wants to know if he's going to date her. Okay, they get into, listen, listen, that's not true, okay, that's not true, what I'm saying is, she wanted to date your son, okay, so the scenario, it's either one way or the other, okay, we know that you made contact, you had contact with her that day, we know that, okay, I can't tell you enough, we know that, okay, okay. so this is the only explanation as to why something happens and you are trying to take care of it and be responsible, okay? That's why this the situation with the cemetery comes up. That's why you're trying to get people to the cemetery, okay? You're, you're a well-respected person, okay? You, I'm not saying that you downright killed that girl. I know that, all right? I don't believe you did that, okay? But I can be wrong, too. I'm just believing the best. I mean, you're sitting in front of me, you got a Jesus Saves shirt on, you know, I'm watching your life fall apart. I've seen you do 30 years of good community service here. You're a reserve cop. But on the other hand, listen, if I don't find out what the truth is here today, they're going to paint it for you, all right? And all I'm trying to do is trying to, I'm trying to understand, okay, that the person sitting in front of me is a guy I know he is. They can paint their damn picture, whatever they want to do. I didn't have nothing to do with this damn thing. I went out there, did my job that night, supposedly. I guess I didn't do it to a I, I believe you. you know, As a matter of fact, this I is a hell you. I'm going that gets, back to, the, going that gets back to the process of trying to help this girl understand that your son don't want to date her. Okay? Trying to help her understand. She flips out. You're just trying to control things. And you say, listen, take it easy. Settle down. And she flips out. Literally flips out and starts yelling and screaming because she wants to be with your son. All right, and you're right. taking, you're doing your job. You're doing what you always do, correct? You're doing what you always do. You take control. You say, "Hey, settle down, relax." And something happens in that process, even to the point where she almost is going to hurt herself, and she gets handcuffs put on her because she's going crazy. Okay. Okay. What else is there, right? I don't know. You tell me, but that's all bullshit. Not against you guys, I respect you, but that's bullshit. Well, why don't you tell me what happened? I don't know what happened to her. We can sit here all freaking night, guys. I do not know what happened to her. We can we can sit here for hours and hours. I can get fired from my job, but I do not know what happened to her. I did not find her. I did not put her there. I did my job that night, and this is the fucking hell that my family has gone through ever since this has happened. And it looks like I'm continuing going through this shit. I don't know what to tell you guys. You don't they can paint their fucking picture, make me look like whatever. 
So be it. You know, I know. God knows. I had nothing to do with this. God does know. That's right. God does know. And one day, just like I told you, I hope to God we're all standing together because I'm going to say I told you so. I'm going to hold myself to that one day, Brian. I sure you believe in God. You told me uh, you do too. I had nothing to do with this. They can paint their F. And here's, here, here's, like, I, like he said, and I've said to myself, thinking it, nodding my head right along, you obviously aren't going to know everything that we know, and we're not going to share it with you. That's... You didn't ask to be in this position. You didn't ask to for her to come to your door. No, she didn't come to my door. Mother did. If that's what you're talking about. That's what I was okay. talking about. No, I didn't ask for all this shit. I didn't even have to go out and look that night. You need to... I, I believe that... What's that? What'd you just say? I didn't even have to go out and look that night. You didn't. But I did. You should. I thought it was my damn job. And then you went out and... Well, you, that's the kind of person you are. Yeah, you're you're that guy. You're I've we, I've told you this. We sat down and talked about this. I said that Ray McCann, is, just all the things he just said. You've heard this before. You're a, you're a good parent. You don't let your kids act like the other kids at the other place. I don't think that you did anything to kill this girl. <laughs> Jody. Man, who are you talking about? Her. Huh? Exactly. Her. She's not here anymore. Right? I understand that. I understand that. And I know you just as much as anybody else wants to get this over with. Fucking A right idea. I'm sorry for cussing, but you know what? I'm just tired of this shit. I am so tired of this. Tired of the hell I'm going through. It's just like it never ends. You know? I thought I did my fucking job that night. Apparently, I did a half-ass job. Well, we talked about that before. Yeah, we did. You, you, uh, well, we're not even going to go there. That's fine. Because I don't know how, for the life of me, that you can say that you see a girl dead in the back of a car and you don't do anything about it. That is the biggest I said I did, I did say I ever heard. heard dead in the back of the car. So so you a you're sure? Kid. No, 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 no. No, Ray. You that is me. not the paint, the picture you painted for me. She wasn't moving. She just yeah, when you think a kid would move. But see, that's the process we're talking about, Ray. That's all okay. bullshit. Okay. okay, I understand. Okay. So when you do that, what that does is it reinforces the the process of the other viewpoint, and we're not there. We know that you, you know people panic. They make statements. They get pressed. They pushed. You're a good man. We know that. We we y y listen. You gotta tell me because I know for a fact you're a good man. And when you say I was doing my fucking job, because that's what you said. I was doing. My, I guess I didn't do that. Listen, I believe you were doing your job the best you could, even in the process. Listen, police officers, human beings, fathers, spouses, husbands. No matter what, you don't do a perfect job. Okay. But this is the issue. If if something happens in performing your duty or you're trying to help something, you don't lie about it. You tell the truth. You say, this is what happened. I was trying to do this, and this is what happened. And see, that's what we're not getting. We, we, you're even, the, the, the girl in the back seat was a panic move on your part because you feel like that's what you have to do when you don't have to. What you need to do is just be honest as to what happened then. Okay, because now you're being comp now you're being confronted with this stuff, which in fact there's some legitimate questions about why you would do that, and so we're trying to clear them up. And I'm saying, listen, listen, and Brian's saying, listen, this guy is a good guy. Okay, we have a dead girl here. All right, we have a person who's trying to do what's best. We need this person to say what he was doing best. We're not necessarily convinced it's the way you see it, but if we can get this guy to tell us the truth and trust enough, then well, guys, we can, we can help him. We can, we can sit here all night, like I said. You know, I didn't see her earlier. I didn't find her. I don't know what happened to her. I don't know what else to say. I just don't, you know. 
I don't know what else to, what else to tell you guys. I'm not going to confess to something I didn't do, so... I'm not asking you to. I, 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 you know, I, what I'm, I'm not confessing to that I even found it earlier. I'm not going to no, say something I'm asking I didn't. you is be honest about that. Okay, be honest about the process, because... I did I not. can work with that process. That's fine. Okay. Brian can work with that process. How many times do I got to say this? On? I did not find her earlier. I did not see her. I did not kill her. What? Okay, listen. Okay, let me give you a let me give you a hypothetical on what you just said. If you never found her, that they could say she was never lost. You knew where she was the whole time. If you didn't kill her, that might be the case. Could have been someone else. And thirdly, okay. Doesn't that make sense, what I'm telling you? You see what you're saying? And all we're saying is, listen, they have something on the other side of this. Okay? I, I'm, I can't give you the scenario. Because then, it lo then you lose your opportunity. That's the, that's, that's the whole issue here. Okay? And, and, and we, we have the full investigation. I told you, we just don't know the why, the little part in there. Okay? We know we have a dead girl. We know that Ray's involved. Okay? We've told you that. So, in that process, all we can do is lead you to the water. But we can't make you drink it. All right? We can't save you from going to prison if you don't want it. Okay? We can't. So, they're, they're going to stick, what, me in jail for something I had no part of? Let me is that you. how the system works? Let me ask you a question, Ray. Let me ask you something. Right now, okay. Do you, do you do you honestly believe that the best police practice was not to go to the cemetery when you're telling everybody to go there? The best police. Yeah. Do you think if you can walk down a, a shadowy boardwalk earlier in the day, okay, and you don't go to the cemetery but you're telling everyone else to, do you think that's the best police practice? You even said if I was Donker, I'd go to the cemetery. Are you going to tell me like you're you're scared of cemeteries? Are you going to tell it's me? It's not your favorite spot, you know, at night. Well, you can walk down a boardwalk. <laughs> it's creepy. Yeah, it was creepy. I had my flashlight with me. I mean, but you were afraid. You were afraid to go in the cemetery. Is that why you didn't go? I mean, you're a policeman. Is that why you didn't go? I mean, seriously. Call me a chicken shed. I want to Is that why you sat you know? there and waited for people to get there? Is that why you did that? Sat there and waited. Yeah, is that is that why? Because that's what they're I saying, mean. okay? <laughs> that's what the phone indicates. That you... Okay? And they didn't answer, but you were checking to see if they could see anything. And then, after you moved the body there, okay, <laughs> after you checked, oh, then, gosh. okay, and asked him if he saw anything. This is the issue. That's what they're right? going to say, huh? This is what the issue is. There is a whole hell of a lot more. Trust okay. me. Hey guys, I didn't put it there. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you afraid of the cemetery? Right? Am I afraid of the cemetery? Are you afraid? Then say it. I'm afraid of the cemetery. I mean, I'll walk down that creepy boardwalk. I'll even go into the, the DNS. I'll go into the DNS, Ray, and I'll ask the lady about the video. Okay? Let's go back to that inconsistency because you didn't talk about dogs, dude. Yeah, I did say something about dog yeah. chain. Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay. How about the video cameras? You talked to her about the video cameras? Talked to her about the video cameras. Mm -hmm. No. Well, uh, guess what? Talk to her about video mm -hmm. cameras. We got you. Why would I be talking about video cameras? We got cameras? evidence. You talked to her about video. We got her. We got it. Am that. I right, Brian? Mm -hmm. Am I right? The lady at the store, mm -hmm. I talked to her about video The lady cameras. that you went into and talked to. You know that thing you said while I was just making small talk about the dogs? Yeah. Remember when I asked you, what was your conversation about? Okay, this is just a small piece of what I'm trying to tell you. You know, with the video we got you earlier today, you know, if you can't give us an explanation, I can't help you, he can't help you, you're screwed. It's like we're going to just keep pounding this freaking information in there and, and giving you opportunity, and you're like, wow. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, maybe. No. Listen. We know that you discussed with the lady when you went there, not just whatever you said to her as to why you were there, but specifically you talked to her about video. Okay. Okay? If that's whatever. That's really important. 
That's huge. Right? That's just one little thing. Okay. Okay? And we're not going to give you everything. I, all I can tell you is, Ray, you would be a fool. You will be a fool as a, as a person if you don't start telling the truth. Honestly. Yeah. Guys, we, like I said. And I know you're not a fool. I know, know that. We just think you're all damn day. Ray, what, Ray, why would it be bad to ask about video cameras? I just can't see my ask on that. Why? As a policeman? I mean, you want to see if there was a girl in there? Yeah. Her, yeah. You can look there. back and say, did she show up at DNS? I think she was looking for some, what was it, uh, beef jerky? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, guys. Holy smokes. <laughs> Okay, I guess I should have. And, and and if I could just elaborate on that a little bit more, and I'm just telling, I'm I'm here. This is a, this is all for you right now. Okay, this is your yeah. chance to stand up and be the person that does good for everybody here. Guys, I wouldn't. Wish I wouldn't well, listen, just listen a minute. Wouldn't you <sighs> think that since you had just been there a few minutes before? That you would have told Dogger that shit. I've already been here, dude. Tell him forty-three, eight forty-three, and it isn't but a few minutes later that you're back with Mark. Okay. Hey, man, I already been here. I already went in and talked to this lady. Yeah, but Mark is the. I don't care who Mark is or here. whatever. I mean, obviously, he's going to go back, check shit. Why wouldn't he? He may just do that, but you could, you certainly would say that. I mean, that. if you took the... She wants to check the cemetery. You certainly would have told Donker that, right? She's From your sister's know. point of view, and you're telling everybody to check the cemetery. It's already been checked. <laughs> you know? It's like... We're not talking, you're not talking to other policemen there. You're talking to your sister, and then you go to this. You're talking to Donker. It's like, when you tell Donker, I don't Ray, there, man. Ray, what? Let's just, a couple more things. These are, these are my, these are my problems. I, I have explained away some of the other ones for myself, because I believe I know what happened. But these are a couple of my problems. You, you saw the bike over by Falcon. Mm-hmm. A bike. A bike. Yeah, we never did go back. I just spoke. Okay. You you said you called Donker, right? And you never he never went out and checked it. We never checked it. Mm -hmm. When you called Donker about the bullshit bike in the alley over by your sister's house, he brought the whole world. I'll be right back. Why didn't he come the other one? I don't know. Because he never told them. I told. Sure, I told him about the bike. Right when you yes, I did. Cause we never went back and checked on it. It's got to be in his report. You're gonna have to look. Oh, Brian, this is bullshit. That's what I think. I did not find it, Brian. I did not put her there, and I do not want to be here all night. Uh, I want to to think that. Uh, my son's still out there worrying, probably. I want to think that uh, hopefully uh, it's here. It's all in here. And, and, and Jody, uh, Jody wanted to know what the uh, answer to her question was. Jody wanted to know because he loved, she loved him. She was, she gave him a long dollar no. I think what she asked him of me would be boyfriend and girlfriend. I think his answer is no, and I think he already talked to you about that, or we'll talk to somebody down here about that. Yeah, that's There's what he said. I can do about that. <laughs> if he told her no, why would she be coming over there? She didn't come over to our house. Why would she be heading that way? Why would she be heading there? What, towards our place? After school? Yeah. Gordon, uh, he asked my son, he, I'm sure he already gave a statement. They went one way, he went the other one. Yeah, that then. Okay. 
can we just talk a second about um, the Dollar General? In what moment? You went to the Dollar General with your with your boys, right? Correct. And you went with them right after school, right? Correct. Right after they got home. What is so? And you were there for how long? Enough to look around, buy them guns. What'd you buy? I don't know if I bought anything. What did you go there for? Something to do, I guess. Just something to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I went there to get anything particular, I don't think. I don't have my receipt, so I don't know if I bought anything or not. You don't have the receipt. Hmm. Just know that. Okay. What did you go there for? I don't know. I bought the boys the laser guns. Were those boys with you, Ray? Yeah. Yeah. That day? Yeah. When we bought them, yeah. Before Angie got home? Yeah. We don't let our boys just roam frickin' wherever. What happened when you got back from the store with the laser guns? Um, I think they dicked around with them for a little bit. I know my son had homework. I was all back watching TV and wait till the wife gets home. So the kids played with the laser guns? I think for a little bit. You saw them play with the laser guns? I think so. I think I they dicked around with them for a little bit. Was that inside or outside the house? Maybe inside. What do these things do? They just... I think they spark. Yeah. Pull the make a noise and they spark it. I don't remember. And you thought, when you took the guns out of the packages and gave them to the boys, you said, God, I think I'm just going to hang out of these because a little while later, Joe might show up and her daughter might be missing. <laughs> Oh, the packages were in my closet for a long time, and after all the bullshit started, I still had them, kept them. So you never gave them to the boys then that day? We got them, yeah, oh. the cardboard. And you just kept the cardboard the packages? I gave you, yeah. Why did you do that? Because I threw them into my closet. Threw them in a box, and that's where they've been for years. And I finally gave them to you. Do you, do you think that's odd? I don't think so. I'm a rat pack. <laughs> I collect everything. Pack rat, you mean? Pack rat, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> no, I don't think that's how it's all out for me. I got so much shit. It's like now I'm moving. I got to throw away a bunch of shit. Ray, just like I told you the last time that you were here, um, There is a logical explanation for this, that the story is that people in this community can relate with, and then there's one that they're going to hear. Well, my true friends know, know me. They know I had no part of this. And they, That's what they tell you to your face. You know, well, maybe they do. But you're, whoever wants to paint their damn picture and Make it look like I'm a monster. There's nothing I can do about you're, it. I know you're not a monster. No. I know you're not that mm -hmm. guy. I know that you're. I have nothing to do with it, Brian. I don't want. I don't want to do this all night. Hey, my son's out there. He's been waiting a long time. I'd like to go home with him. I don't want to do this. I had nothing to do with this. You, I did not find her. You know that that explains it all. You, you can, you can, honestly say. To anybody that is going to critique your every move like they are, you can say, and people would understand and relate to that, that the that's why there's so many inconsistencies well, I can see that, in my yeah. statements. I can see that's that. why all of these things that make me look to be this monster, I'm really not that monster. In fact, I'm I am rather a timid man in in not maybe very uh strong yeah. and I, I couldn't handle it. I can see him painting that picture and it's No, you it's the picture you're gonna have to paint. 
you can you can they can they can recognize they can relate with that they can say you know there I guarantee you there's probably half a dozen people more than that I don't know why I threw that number out there but there's a ton of people out there that can say I don't you know how many people have seen a dead body other than their relatives right. sitting in a in a right. box at the funeral home right. they don't see those things no. nobody's going to know how they would react when they see that how many had you seen before then it's at the funeral home <laughs> how was it for you when i saw her yeah it's devastating you know you ever seen a dead body in the not right. in a funeral home no no right <laughs> no. people don't act normal when they do those things not to mention the fact you're blown up on all these meds yeah. probably thinking clearly can i interrupt you once my son I, I did you yeah i just checked apparently you're, he's at his grandma's oh he yeah to i want to check oh, okay. so you. You, yeah yeah definitely yeah. That's it's your story now to tell. I told you guys. It would it would explain a lot if you did. You, what what would you think would happen if you told us that you you found her there and you didn't know what to do? What do you think would happen to you if I found her there and didn't know what to do? I'd be calling. I mean, I know what to do. I'd be calling the police. No, but what what he's asking you, Ray, is what would happen to you today if that was the case. If that really did happen, you found her, and then you didn't do what you, at the time, but today you said, you know, what, the, what do you think would happen to you? You think you'd, like, get in huge trouble, you'd get thrown in prison, or what do you think would happen to you? That's what you're asking, right, Brian? Right. Am I correct? Right. If, if I found her, but well, you, you didn't, didn't do anything, anything, you didn't tell yeah, anybody. Now, what, what, you know, what crime is that? I don't do think there's a crime in that. What do you think would happen to you? I don't know. But do you think that would be bad? If I would have found her, I would have said something. Well, they wouldn't be right. You should say something. You just don't find someone and just lay there and just keep it to yourself. You know, as far as you know, if you found somebody, maybe they're unconscious, whatever you call an ambulance. Okay. You know? Okay. <laughs> Rem remember this, though. I don't, I don't have to be here now with you. I, I did this at, on a personal level because I have connected with you a little bit, okay? I, I'm taking time out of my life right now to be here for you. It's your turn to be here for the rest of this town, yeah. okay? Because I'm giving you every, every opportunity. Well, to say, go, listen, right. let me finish. To say that that's what happened and that explains it all. And then, that, and that's, then we're done. Okay, yeah, but, but at the same that. time, what you're doing, Ray, by if that is not true, and you're adamant that it's not true, you're sending us right down that other road. And I but I don't want to. You guys make it look well. That's the easy way. So what? I lie. Say okay, I found her. No, no, and that's bullshit there too. You know. So since I'm not saying that, they're going to paint a picture of the bad route. Is that what you guys are trying to tell me? Well, it's just like the handcuffs, dude. You know. You know, it's like an opportunity for you, to be honest, you know, well, had another fair. Okay. And we know. Whatever. We know. We just, it's where'd those handcuffs go? Head. Who was fucked in that? They gave them the handcuffs for my birthday? You guys got them. That's true. No, no. We know that. I don't You're have talking about the other ones that you had prior to that. What'd you okay. do? I don't have another pair. So if he says I have another pair, he can stick it in his ass, whatever. Really? Yeah. So it's it's his word against yours. I guess. And you know he's he's saying, look, I know for a fact he I had only this, have one pair. This type of handcuffs. Oh right? I mean, we even know what the model is, right? Yeah. 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 And see, that's what we're trying to say to you, dude. Listen, Brian is saying there's got to be a fully explanation. What do you think's going to happen to you? We would love to be able to give answers to this stuff, and that's what we're trying to do. I here. know you're trying to get answers, but if I don't have answers, I guess we can't give answers to the stuff, can we? Well, there might be an explanation. Well, I don't okay. have an explanation. My explanation for it, totally, my explanation for this, Shit. look, our investigation shows you're involved in her death. I said that. It's either, it was on purpose, intentional. Listen, it was either okay. intentional or it was accidental. 
We know it was accidental, but we can't tell you that, okay? We're hoping that you're strong enough and a man enough like you are, we see it in you, to say that. But you know what, dude? We can't spoon feed it. But trust me when I tell you. Listen to me when I tell you. I know it was an accident. I know you didn't mean to kill that little girl. I didn't. Okay? Damn. And I didn't. Listen, dude. I'm telling you. I know that. But in the process, it's I can know it all day long. But you have to. And I'm not asking you like you keep saying a lie. I'm telling you our investigation shows you're involved in her death. Now, it was either on purpose or it was accidental. And this is what I'm saying to you. Listen, dude. We can we can go with it. We can fill in the blanks. We know the details. All right. If, if if in fact she flips out, okay, and you're trying to calm her down, being a good policeman and saying, "Take it easy here. Listen, take it easy," uh, and 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 she just goes crazy and she accidentally dies in the process. What do you do? You're a policeman. Oh my gosh, how do I explain this? You panic and you do stuff. Listen, that you normally would not do because you're afraid. And that's normal. You got 30 years of good reputation even in your father's life, okay? Then you look at your life and a policeman, what, what do you do? You panic. And that's true. We, we can, I, Brian and I can say, listen, we can defend that all day long because you know what? This guy's life shows that. There's no doubt about it. And that's what we're trying to tell you. We know that. And, and that's a very feasible, understandable process dude you can bring closure to the kids family you know you look at you look at the process and you say listen you know what I guys, if that was true, this would have been done a long time ago. but listen dude not not everybody in this case was ready to hear that now okay. you got two guys listen i'm going to tell you something i, I would have did the same thing i did the same thing you would have because if if that would happen to me i would have panicked what because did? you know what but I this village i listen when you don't have people that fully understand investigations, but now that you do, you have two people who are looking at it and say, that's very feasible. I'm telling you, that's that's it. It ain't the other way. I'm telling you that right now. He panicked. Okay? It was an accident. He didn't mean to do that, and this is what he did. Everybody does it. That's normal human behavior. But in a crowd of fucking pitchforks, pardon my French, but pitchforks and um, I don't mean, don't take this the wrong way in any way, but... In, 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 a, in a one policeman village where everybody's trying to pin stuff on somebody, I can understand the panic at all. I, I would, listen, that's what we're trying to tell you. So I'm trying to tell you, okay, it was either this way or an accident. And I know it was an accident. I know it was. I know you're a good man. I've watched your, like, I've studied it, dude. This is what I do. And it's an explanation. But on the other hand, Okay, you have to be strong enough right now with yeah. us. We're going back to the, we're going back to where I said I'm not going to admit to something I didn't have part part of. Okay, guys, if I listen, want, listen, oh, Lord. Uh, we're saying to you, we know that you have, we know you have part of it. We want you oh, to no, know okay. you're just as much as you're asking us to sit here, as Brian said, and do this. We're asking you to have the courage because we're gonna we're gonna stick by it. Okay, and you need to have the courage. I understand why you would have done what you did. Okay, <laughs> I'm very convinced of it. All right, because I know you're not this guy who who just downright killed her and tried to get weird with her. That's that's hideous. That's a joke. This guy's life has never shown that. He's been a an upright citizen. He's a good father. He's a good policeman. And 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 all that goes into your life. I'm not saying you had a perfect life. I'm not saying you weren't. Uh, as a little boy, you might have things that affected you as a kid, and all these things come on, but you're a good man. Okay, you guys, you're a good man. Everybody has things that affect them. Jeez, oh, Pete, listen, you think I never fought with my wife? Hey. Listen. Can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. I didn't just wake up one day and said, oh, you know, I'm going to totally fuck my life up. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I agree so with you. Fuck. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say to you. That's what Brian's trying to say. So we understand. Our investigation shows that you were involved in her death, but it wasn't on purpose. It was an accident. Like that. No, it was an accident. And okay. your behavior, post behavior, and the process is totally explainable because you know what? Well. There's too much incompetence in this process. But we're telling you now don't be afraid. Tell the truth. I didn't fight her, guys. We can sit here all night. I don't want to sit here all night. Just like I told Brian, I want to get back to my son. You know, I did not. Your, your boy's fine. But I know he is, but you know what? We got a lot of unpacking to do. We got shit scattered all in our apartment. And I didn't have nothing to do with it, guys. 
Listen, you know, I, I ain't gonna go out there and fuck my life. If I were, let's say, let's say it was you, I don't think I, you went out and fucked you your life on purpose. You I think, think I'm just gonna leave you it. laying there if it, if it was you or him or anybody? Well, fuck if, no, if you not. if you believe that people aren't gonna believe that it was an accident, you're damn right. I, I you know what? I'm uh, telling you, I would too. I would get okay. scared and make it bad. Listen, that's what I'm trying to tell you. If 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 I, I was in a village, if I was in a village, right? Am I in the village? And you're looking around, and these people—I mean, hey, come on! What they—they're—they're they're looking to crucify somebody, and it's like I know the abilities here, the capabilities here, and it's not like maximum. So what do you do? You panic. I would panic too. Okay. And all I was doing was my job. Did you ever hear about a cop who 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 honestly he he's 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 doing his job, and he accidentally shoots somebody, right? Yeah. And then he and then he does he does. The, the worst thing he could do, he starts panicking, and he doesn't tell the story properly. And and in, in this case, he was just checking this homeless guy out, and the next thing you know, this, this, this home guy was actually looking for help. And he ends up killing this guy in the process of trying to help him. Everybody wants to send this guy to prison, this cop. I mean, I'm not giving you a made-up scenario. This is the real deal. And he panics in the process. He doesn't tell the whole story. He doesn't tell full truth because he doesn't trust. He doesn't see. He doesn't see that there's people there that really do understand why he did what he did and can sit in his corner. And listen, that's what we're telling you. I'm saying <laughs> our investigation shows oh, you're involved oh, in, wow. in her death. And, and it, it was either in this way or it was an accident. And we're saying, look. It was an accident, and his behavior has plenty of explanation, has plenty in the accidental process, because he's a good man. He was trying to help her. She obviously was unreasonable, and, and accidents happened, so then he panicked. And, and nobody was going to believe him. Nobody wanted to believe him. I mean, definitely mom didn't want to believe him. She, she's banging on the door screaming, and that's just the first part of it. Do you understand? I mean, listen. Listen to me, man. This is I this is your listen. opportunity. I know, you know guys, you keep on over this and over and over this. You know, I'm not going to admit something I didn't have part of. You know, I'm not going to admit that. You guys can do all your talking and talking and talking and talking, but you know what? I did, I did my job that night. I did not have part of and whatever the fuck happened to her. I wish I knew what happened to her because then we, I guess we wouldn't be having this conversation. This son of a bitch would have been done a long time ago. I just, guys, I don't. I don't know what you want from me. You want a confession that I can't give you? I would never want you to confess. Oh, I'm not confessing this shit. Not even confessing that, you know, if I found her. But I didn't, guys. I didn't find her. I didn't put it there. I didn't kill her. You know? I didn't want to bring this up, but, uh... Because I fully expected that you, you, uh... I just knew in my mind that that had to be the reason why all these problems is because you just found her and you didn't know what to do. That made sense to me. Um, but it, that didn't happen. So uh, have you ever heard the title Plant Pusher? What's that? Ever heard that before? Mm -hmm. Ever heard the screen name like that or anything like that? Okay. I'm just curious on that. Ray, we, 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 we've been at this a, a good minute. You know, we've been down here a while. Yeah. Um, they they've been they've worked on this for full mo going on four years now. You know, and uh, they they didn't have us then. And, and we we just uh, aren't a pretty face. We're here because we know what the fuck we're doing. Mm -hmm. And the only explanation for all of this is the one explanation that I gave you that I believe in my heart and that, that is obviously what you're telling me is not the case I didn't find her guys I don't want to sit here all night we we have God don't you think I would have found her I would have got on the old hotline and had an ambulance cops and fucking everybody in the neighborhood you know not if you didn't trust them I wouldn't either <laughs> Personally, all right. Or not if you were worried that they would think that you did it. That's what I'm saying. You well, don't trust them. Trust the investigative process. You don't trust them. They're gonna immediately think you did it. You don't fuck them, man. Yeah. Well, I think under the circumstance, 
you know, at the time, that was your choice. But today, you can't say fuck them. I know. You know, the accident I part compared of to the you 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 caused her death was it accidental or was it on purpose? Then you get into the that. one's death. You just asked me, don't you think that if I would have found her, I would have called someone? Yeah, don't you think? Wouldn't you? If I would have, this is about would've. me. Okay, it's about it's me. Not, well, it's I, just, I, guys, I already told you, if I would have walked up on something, yeah, I would have called. That's an obvious. You would have called. You would have, you know. It's like I said, hell, as far as you know, someone could be unconscious. You call an ambulance. You call the cops. You, you know. What if you checked her and she wasn't? What if she's dead? Okay, like she was, and you start thinking, wait a minute, man, wait a minute here. You still. I call found her, and everybody's going to know, and and it may even been the the first place you went because you even brought it up. Cemetery. Nobody mm -hmm. wants to do it. You go there. It's like, oh my gosh. If I say that I found her, admit to it, they're going to think I killed her. Well, in fact, I didn't. Do you understand what, what Brian's trying to tell you? Yeah. So your explanation don't make sense in some ways because any rightful thinking person would have done that. They would have said, well, you know what? I'm not going to be the first one to find her. I know where she is. She's there. If if some, I can tell people to go there, but that way they don't expect that I'll be the person to find her. And I'll that's, explain that's one of your guys' scenario you're, you're saying, but... I didn't find her, guys. Well, how come you never went there? Went to the center? All this time of saying, we're going to go do, we're going to go check, I'm going to go check. Have you, you checked? checked? Have you checked? Have you checked? Have you checked? My sister, have you checked countless times? So much so she got tired of fucking hearing it. How come Ray McCann never went? Well, that would have been one of my places I would have went. The school no, 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 no. Why, Why didn't I go over there? Why didn't you go at all? I don't know. I mentioned it to Doc earlier. Why didn't we go there? I don't know. Because that's the story you have to stick with now because you told it before and you think yeah. if you tell a different one now that that's going to jam you up. Mm-hmm. No, well, that's exactly right. And that's I don't why know why didn't we didn't go there. go there for You didn't go there because you knew she was there. and you No, I didn't know she was there. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah, you knew it. Guys, you know, we're, we're giving you that reason... And, and we know that that's the case, okay? And I'll say it again to you. Our investigation shows that you knew that she was there. I did not know and the she issue, was there. the issue is it's very explainable as to why you wouldn't go back there, why you wouldn't and find her. But, you know. Well, Gene, and, and then I am not being Donker, too. Uh, is he under, uh, what do you want to call it, an eyeball, too? Why didn't he go there? Well, Donker was busy doing the Amber yeah, because he, he didn't find her for us. He didn't have her there. Do you understand? Donker's not the guy. You're the guy. Yeah, let's blame it on me. You're the guy, dude. <laughs> okay. You're the man. Because no, he I'm told you man. that's a good be that's a good idea, right? Mm -hmm. Go do that. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, and you never did. So you say. I'm not meant anything I didn't have part of, guys. Can I go see my son or what? Your son's at your grandma's. I know. Can I go to him? We could sit here all night, but I'm no, not confessing you, you, something I didn't We know. already told you this is your opportunity, dude. I understand that. I'm not, I'm not going to freaking say I did something I didn't do. I'm not going to sit here all night and go through this bullshit, being accused of this, and admit to something I had no part of. I'm not going to do that. Did you leave your house? Huh? Did you leave your house before you said you did? Did I leave my house before mm -hmm. I did? On that day. Did you leave your house before you said you did? When the mother was there? No, before that, dude. Let's go back. Let's go back. Jesus Christ. I went to the you store. Know, I took the after, kids. After you looked at the porno and you jerked off and then you looked at the religious station and you went to the religious portions on that computer, did you leave your house? Explanation. Tell us. Sir, I told you. If it's the same day as the walkie-talkies, I guess it's the same day. But I don't think it is. Otherwise, I'm at home. Are we done? Can I go home? You've always been free to leave, Ray. We told you that. Did you? Kid. Yeah. Yeah, we were here to say, look, this will be the end of it. Right here today. But didn't I'm we say that to you? Any of you guys is something I didn't do. You're free to leave. These, you know these doors aren't locked. Yeah. You know. You're free to leave, dude. We've been talking to you for your explanation. 
This was your opportunity. I'm telling you. Yeah, right it's my now. opportunity, but I am not admitting to something I didn't have part of. Okay? Then. Yeah, you guys, I've been treated like hell ever since this fucking case started. My family's been treated like shit. I lost my job here at the police department. You know, and it's continued for something that I have no control over. You know, I love being a police we officer. We didn't make the lies up. Right? No, no, I, I, had no, I had nothing we to do with make the lies. Things. We didn't make the inconsistencies. We didn't make them up. You did. This is bullshit. You nothing know. against you guys. I respect you totally, okay? And hey, Brian, I respect you. But I had nothing to do with this son of a bitch. We're just trying to help you. I know it. But I can only take so much. You know what? I can only take so much. I know well, My that. family's been fucking through hell. Didn't, I, didn't we start with that part of the conversation, buddy? Didn't we tell you that? Didn't we say we knew that? What are we here to tell you? Know, you guys want me to confess to something I had nothing part of. No, I'm not no, doing that. No, that's no, what you guys see what you're doing to no, me. No, no, Everybody's no. treating me like shit ever since I've fucking been here. It's bullshit. You know which way you're going? Sorry, guys. This is upset, alright? <laughs>